Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Mary. What are we doing today? We are here to do the first sentence challenge. So you'll need to obscure your eyeballs. We've each chosen five books with first sentences that do not include the characters' names. And I will be reading the first sentence of books that I'm 99% sure Mary has read. Oh, and encouraging. <laughs> and then she has to guess uh, what book it is. So we're going to start with. I'll say the name uh, of the we book. might do <laughs> I might do six because I have two here by the same author and I'm a little bit torn. Okay, we're gonna start with one that I think is pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna show the book. You can't see through that, can you? No. Okay. Unfortunately, otherwise it'd be easier. <clears throat> <to play. clears throat> uh, um Okay, the first sentence is All children except one grow up. Peter Pan. I knew you would get that one. Okay. We'll stack the ones we've done behind us. Okay. Um, these might all be entirely easy, but it is what it is. Yes. It's uh, harder than if the character's names had been in it. Okay. Here is book number two. Trouble finding the camera lens. The sun did not shine. This one may be harder. Mm, the sun did not shine. Can I ask for a second sentence? Sure, that might give it away. <laughs> the sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the hardest one. I've, I've no my, idea. My only clue is you probably haven't read it in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Probably. It, like, it sounds familiar, but not like, oh, that's that thing. Okay, I'm going to give you the first page, because it's a short page. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. Oh, that's, uh, um, Cat in the Hat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, this one is super easy. If you don't get this one, then no, no pressure. You're gonna lose points for Hufflepuff. Okay, now I can't find the first sentence. Here we go. If music be the food of love, play on. Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. I knew she'd know that one. Yes. Um. Okay, this one's a little harder. <clears throat> Ash fell from the sky. Mistborn? Yeah. Good, I didn't know if you get that one. Yes. Ash fell from the sky. Okay, this is the last official one. I don't know if y'all can read the title of this one. Okay. First sentence. I also get to hear the pages. That's a clue. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. No spell yet devised enables wizards to fly unaided in human form. Okay. Read it again. No spell yet devised enables wizards to fly unaided in human form. Can I have a second sentence? Those few animagi, which I'm probably saying wrong, who transform into winged creatures may enjoy flight, but they are a rarity. Is it like Quidditch through the ages? It is. <gasps> yes! Ding, ding, ding. 50 points for Hufflepuff. And I'm going to <laughs> go ahead and give you the last one. It's a bonus. Okay. Um, it's really easy, but since I have it here, we'll go ahead and do it. Who's there? Mm, I 
Hamlet. <laughs> it's Hamlet. <laughs> you are six for six. Yes. Congratulations. I did ask for some second sentences though, so. You you did. It, how many did you get in one sentence? You got Peter Pan, uh -huh. Twelfth Night, and Mistborn in one sentence. And Hamlet. And Hamlet. And then you had extra sentences for these two. Yeah. That was pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, shall I? Yes. Did you leave on your glasses or take them off? I took them off. Okay. We just have survivor buffs sitting around in the closet because that's how we roll. That is how we roll. My hair is doing things. Oh, wow. This is very odd. I think I'm just going to leave my eyes closed. Yeah, I do too. It kind of presses your lids closed, which is nice. Okay, and I feel like I can't breathe even though my nose is uncovered. I'm opening my book box. My ears are going to be super hard. No, they're not. I'm going to start even with an easy one. Let me show it the... would be funny if we both chose the same book. Here we are. <clears throat> All children except one grow up. Peter Pan. You <laughs> <laughs> did. So I figured I'd get that one out of the way. <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> okay. Now, let's do this one. Audience, this is the book. Okay. She had been running for four days now, a harem scarum tumbling fight through passages and tunnels. The first sentence? That is the first sentence. Like, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I like, I know it's not Alice or the Hunger Games, but it has a feeling of those things. Do you want the second sentence or do you want me to read it? Read that one again. Okay. She had been running for four days now, a harem scarum tumbling fight through passages and tunnels. Is it one of the spider wreck? No. No. Do you want a second sentence? I told you yours sentence? would be harder. Yes. Sure. Okay. She was hungry and exhausted, and more tired than a body could stand, and each successive door was proving harder to open. Neverwhere. Yes! yes. That's such a good I one. haven't even read it yet, but I knew you had, so I thought that it sounded like That was really a... hard, and that's why I got the Alice in Wonderland feel. That was cool. Okay, good job. Okay, this one I'm have... I am going to omit the um, names, because I had so much trouble finding one without names in it. Okay. Once there were four children whose names were... <laughs> I almost chose that book. <laughs> well, then you'd know which it is. It's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. <laughs> yes, it is. I was like, she, she read this one, and then I opened it, and it was full of names, so I could have... Well, I almost read the second sentence instead, What's the second which sentence? was... This story is about something that happened to them when they were sent away from London during the war oh. because of the air raid. That's even easier. Yeah, so. But very recognizable. Yes, I did some easier ones. And then I tried to pick Voyage of the Dawn Treader and it has Eustace's name in the first sentence. How useless. Mm. And he just loves names. I tried The Magician's Nephew. It didn't work out either. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so this one's a little harder. Oh, let me show you the audience. I forgot to do that. All right. Rain fell that night. A fine, whispering rain. Um, it's not ink art, is it? It is. <gasps> How did you guess it? I know it because my biggest beef with the ink art movie was why would you have the first scene in broad daylight when it's set in the night in the rain? There's no reason to do that. Word. Oh, I'm so glad you got that one. Because <laughs> the second sentence had Maggie's name in it, so it would have given it away. Okay, last one. Yeah, you have some of the books that we've both read. Yes, I do. I don't even have a copy of the ink cart. All right, you ready? Now, fair Hippolyta, our nuptial hour draws on apace. 
A Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. We know our Shakespeare. To be fair, that did have a name in it. It did, but it was like not one of the main characters' names, so I thought it would yeah. pass. Okay. Yeah, it went very well. <laughs> I only needed a second sentence for what? One? Um. Two? Whoop. One. You only needed a second sentence for Neverwhere. I beat you. Yeah, you beat me. By one. But you had a bonus one, so I, we kind of tied in, in a way. Did I get makeup all over this? No. <laughs> okay. If you have done this challenge or do this challenge, be sure to send us a link because we'd like to watch your video. Um, anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. DFTBA.